conditions across Southern California. Taking a live look this morning, you can see blue skies out there, some high clouds off in Van Nuys, but look at the temperatures. 74 degrees, sunny, and really like wind, light winds. LAX, same story, a little bit hazy off in the distance, but temperatures in the upper 60s. So it's really comfortable. Maybe bring a sweater if you're going to be voting out there later this evening. But Today, it's pretty mellow, and temperatures are too. In the 70s throughout noon, and if you're taking your ballot a little bit later this evening, just keep in mind, temperatures are going to dip into the 60s. So again, all about the layers, but comfortable t uh, conditions today are all going to shift as we head into tomorrow. We have those winds returning, and this Santa Ana event is going to be even more powerful than what we saw earlier in the week. So I'll break it all down in the full forecast, but for now, Philip, I'll toss it back to you. Okay, Shayla, thank so you. Enjoy the temperatures, the calm winds we feel out there today because it is all going to change heading into tomorrow. Glendale right now, 70 degrees. You'll notice all the trees in the background not even moving. Really light wind speeds for you this morning. And Malibu, some high clouds in the mix, but really uh, nice conditions overall. 64 degrees, sunny skies. Temperatures are nice out there too, and winds relatively calm today. So that'll continue to be the uh, case as we head into the rest of the afternoon. We'll see some breezy spots, especially along the I-5 corridor and up into our high deserts, Palmdale, even Wrightwood, seeing some wind speeds into the teens. But all of this is fairly typical. It's as we head into the overnight hours and into tomorrow, that's when we really see the Santa Ana winds making a return. And look at this. This is tomorrow. You can see daytime up in the corner here, Wednesday afternoon. All of the purple you see on your screen there, that magenta color, that's wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour. And some areas could see even more than that. So that's why we have all of these watches and warnings in place. Out into the Inland Empire and even into some of our mountains, Crestline and Big Bear, we have this high wind watch. So these are wind speeds, sustained winds, anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per hour. Gusts, though, could be up to 55 miles per hour. And as we head up farther north along the I-5 corridor, even into our Ventura County mountains, you are under a high wind warning. This is going to be kicking off tomorrow and lasting through Thursday. Winds for you anywhere from 35 even to 50 miles per hour and gusts could be up to 60 to 80 miles per hour. And again, those are just gusts. So sustained winds aren't going to be quite as windy, uh, but just keep in mind, we are talking about a very powerful and a, even a days long, pretty significant wind event for us. Of course, all of this is going to continue to trigger those red flag warnings. So this is sticking around through Thursday as well. We are talking about dry, very windy conditions. So fire weather going to be a big concern, not only for us, but across the state as we head into the rest of our week. All right, temperatures out uh, mid 70s by this afternoon if you're out in L.A., but overall really nice conditions today and up for us tomorrow. We'll continue to see windy conditions through Thursday, but some of those watches and warnings are going to start to expire. And then it's not as we head until, excuse me, we head into this weekend that we start to see some more really comfortable conditions. Sad tomorrow and those winds continuing to last through Thursday. We'll have more news and weather coming up after this break.